Hey there, this is my step pike review and the sound of this truck can really great on you. Starting off, we'll take a look at, as we always do, uh, the truck setup and the arrangements starting with the engine. So for the engine, I've chosen the IMZ6210 engine, granting a power to weight rating of A+. Following this, you can select either the highway or the off-road gearbox for your needs, though I prefer the highway gearbox in this instance. This rounds off the remaining stats as A plus for durability and B plus for fuel economy. Um, I haven't opted for the most powerful engine because the power boost is offset by uh, worse fuel economy and the truck doesn't really struggle with A plus ratings, so why waste the fuel? So the Pike comes with several tire options up to 43 inch diameter with multiple mud variants available. Uh, I've equipped race suspension for additional ground clearance as always, there are regular winch options, as well as a, a rear-mounted uh, spare tire, if you really want it. And there are several snorkel options. One is on the bonnet, and one is rear-mounted and goes all the way up to the roof. There are plenty of add-ons available and a unique sideboard bed that I'm not totally convinced by, but we'll talk about that later. The truck has a 250-litre fuel tank, which is, is, you know, it's not bad for a truck of this size, but any smaller, and it would have been a bit of a problem, I think. The truck has all-wheel drive and diff lock always on, allowing speed in along in high range with no issues whatsoever unless you're in a boulder field. As you can see from the various clips on screen, you will have to ease back in the deep wet mud in the boulder fields, but this truck will get you where you need to go, and then some, although it might take some rejiggering around from time to time. I mostly use this truck with a highway gearbox, as it's nice and fast in the high gear. On roads, your fuel consumption will be around 6 litres per minute, but as you transition onto dirt and muddy conditions, you'll see the consumption peak at about 17 litres per minute, but av typically averaging 14 to 16 litres per minute. The good thing about the consumption is that it doesn't, it doesn't fluctuate like some other trucks do on a sort of crazy level. 90% of the time, you will be consuming the average I just mentioned. One task I like to use this truck for is towing trailers with a low saddle. The loading crane is nearby, making manual loading less laborious, and the truck has good torque levels and the steering is also solid. What you can do, though it is risky, is use a crane flatbed and trailer combo. The reason I say it's risky is down to the rear overhang of the sideboard bed as the framing of it can restrict the movement of the trailer hitch A-frame section. Traversing over uneven terrain such as sudden dips uh, can cause the trailer and the sideboard lock together, lifting your rear drive wheels off the ground. This truck is very easy to get hold of, just complete its repair and refuel task in the Institute map and boom, it is all yours. To keep the truck running, in the add-on list there is a roof rack providing 80 litres of spare fuel and 150 repair points. And additionally, the sideboard bed holds a further 60 litres of fuel, adding to the longevity of your adventures. So to summarise, the pros of this truck include a variety of add-ons, all-wheel drive and diff lock are always on, it's easy to obtain, it's got a nice compact roof rack, it's not slowed down by the use of trailers, it has a good high snorkel and it has good mud tyre options. And the cons of this truck include the sideboard bed can hinder performance with trailers, and there are no chain tire options whatsoever. So to sum up, it's 8 out of 10 for me. Uh, I do prefer the older flatbed sideboard bed that was available on the PTS, but alas, they wanted to put in the unique one because it's an existing old truck from earlier in the franchise. This truck is a solid little workhorse and is very capable, though I do find the gearbox sounds absolutely grating very quickly, which can be pretty frustrated, but that's not a real con, that's more personal preference. So I want to thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, then please let me know down below if you can give the video a little like as it really helps the channel out and have a great day.